What is the matter? That is last year's intro. Oh, we have a new one? We have a new one. We have a new one? So, I think we should play the new intro. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to Kids Zone. Do hope you have all had a really good Christmas break. Well, I hope you are doing well and I'm doing well, but I think we need to do some worship, don't you? So let's stand up and join in with the Action Angels. Well done, everybody. Now, if you were with us last week when we did our families at four on Zoom and on YouTube, then you would have started to learn our new memory verse. Because this term, all the way up to Easter, then we have got a new series where we're looking at characters in the Bible, where God gave them an important job or a mission to do. But maybe sometimes they didn't listen to God's word, and sometimes then they did. And there were some consequences, and there were some praises as well and some rewards given. And we're going to be exploring some of those characters a bit more. But our memory verse is going to come up on the screen and let's say it all together. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Live so that they will see the good things that you do. Live so that they will praise your Father in heaven. Matthew 5 verse 16. Now, I wonder if we could make it a little bit harder. And if I take some words away, 
can you still say it? Well, it's going to come up on the screen and let's see if you can still say the whole thing, but I'll still be here in the background to help you out as well. In the same way, you should be a light for the other people. Live so that they will see the good things you do. Live so that they will praise your Father in heaven. Matthew 5 verse 16. Well, do keep learning that. And I look forward to seeing you next week at four o'clock on Zoom or YouTube, where we can all say it together as well. Now, of course, in Kids Zone, we need a silly game, don't we? And today is no exception. And let's head on over to the kitchen and see just how much silliness Josh and I get up to today. Well, welcome Josh to Kids Zone. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. First one of the new year. Yes, I love 2021. I don't know why. But sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good, 2021. So, we have got some silly games, as always. In as Kids Zone. always. But this game is called Would You Rather? Would you rather? Okay, so would you rather do A or do B? But normally, yeah. when we play would you rather, we just talk about it. We just say it. We, we never just, yeah, actually we ne do it. I've never actually seen anyone do it. Would you rather be like a dog or a cat? Like, I've never seen them turn into a no. dog or a cat. So, so yeah. here we have a pot of would you rathers, all of which we can do here for our viewers at home to watch us do. Okay. That is a very small pot. It is a very small rivers. pot. Okay. But Obviously, we haven't got it. We haven't got it. So, we've got, I think six in here, so we've got three each. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So, if you if you take it out, that means that I do it, and if you take it out. Okay, great. I don't even know what these are, because I haven't even seen them yet. But so. there are some things on the counter that... Yeah, I don't know why, there's a bowl of ice, we'll paint anyway. here. Okay, You're cool. You're going to paint ice water. So, ladies first, so you uh, do the first one. Oh, okay. Pick it for me. Okay. Um, okay. Josh. Yes. Would you rather yes. have ice or water put down your back? Oh, it depends. How warm is the water? Well, it's that water and it's that ice. Okay. Water. This is cold water. Yeah, it just came from the fridge. Yeah, that ice. And that is ice. Well, so what would you um, rather? I know which one I would do. Well, the water doesn't make a mess on the floor. Who cleans up the water? Well, that would be me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think I would rather. I think I would rather the cold ice. To be honest. Yeah, so that, I think not... I think that is the better of the two. Okay. Great. Okay. So the whole thing. You hold your t-shirt tight. So Wait. How are you? Out. You have to put it. You want to put the top yeah, of the back, right? You got to hold your t-shirt. Otherwise, it's just going to fall out. That's awesome, isn't it? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just come on. Are you ready? You're, how long does it take? Wait, wait. How long do I keep it in there? Well, it's not got them all in. So you have them all in and then I'll let them go. Yeah. Well, do it quickly then. Okay. If this causes you, oh. if I get pneumonia. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> moments later. Right then, we've got our heating equipment, so got on this nice Jacques wipe. It's a bit wet. Okay, yeah, I know, I went for a bye this morning. <laughs> Don't right. strike Good, me. good, good. Okay, always a pain doing this up. Great. Now we need oh, I have the, more, the specialist heating equipment. Ah, the head light. Just add a little more up. Yeah, I don't 
A few moments later. Okay, so okay. you prefer you, do you please use your decision? Yes, thank you. That was nice and toasty. It's a good decision. If I have a um, really cold, we can just you know, get ahead. Yep, quite so. And we dealt with the person at the door as well. Okay, yeah. so. Sorry. Uh, so my turn. My turn. My turn. Um, oh, Josh. Yeah. Would <laughs> you rather yeah. eat raw? Pasta or raw rice? Raw pasta, hands down. Definitely raw. The raw pasta. I love pasta. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm really going to want to eat raw pasta. Ooh, raw rice. Okay. Feel the flavour. Crunchy. Really crunchy. <laughs> any of it. Size 12, and the majority of my foot is toe. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I can't do that. I will lick your finger. Okay, which one? Well, you have to choose. No, you have to choose. It's your, it's your, it's your no, one. yeah, you choose. Okay, um, the thumb. Well, I used to suck my thumb. <laughs> no, you suck it like that. No. <laughs> oh, why do we do these things? It's just a bit. Oh, that's got some nasty taste to it. Really? Yeah. You lick it. I'm not licking it after you've just licked it. Mm, okay. Come on, there we go. I can't taste anything. Mm. Right. I had a bit of a taste to it. Oh yeah, I did just get those. That I just, I, we just took a delivery of a toilet. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, it's a brand new one, so hopefully no one's used it yet. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Right. Oh no. Mm. Josh. Yeah. Would you rather yeah. stand with your hands in the air for five minutes? Yeah. Or jump for three minutes? Um jump for three minutes. Really? Yeah. Why? Because the stand with our hands in the air. You're gonna see my belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wanna jump? Yeah, three minutes, I can do that. Okay, cool. Let's, um, Alexa, set a time of three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Off you go. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two. Alexa. How long? The longest three minutes Stop. of my life. Uh, yeah. She doesn't like me, honestly. She doesn't reply to me. Doesn't okay. Like voice. So. There's one more in the pots. Okay. And we so. see when you're getting paint on the table. So that can only mean one thing. Oh no. Naomi. Yeah. Would you rather paint all yogurt on your face? Mm, neither. It's 
not an option. I don't. Mm. Um, paint. Paint? Because I want to eat the yogurt later. <laughs> <laughs> so, really? Uh, yeah, I'd rather have a paint. Okay. Because then I can eat the yogurt. What colour paint? Well, you decide now. You can okay. do a little bit of a creation. Okay. You're watering that. Yeah. You need quite a bit more water than that. Why? Because it's like, the paint's dry. Right. Well, if you want the decent colour covering. That's a lot of paint on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> City. You have to guess what I'm... Um, like art? What? You're in a love art? You have to guess what it is. I think it's not that game art. that we played. Is it not a love art? You will see in a minute. So it is a love art? What? I can't see in the camera. Your head straight. <laughs> it's going wrinkly. <laughs> Wait, hang on. No, you've got wrinkles. I've got wrinkles. I moisturise every day. So do I. Mhm. Mm I do. I know. I know. It's very good. Days. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think this is water washable paint. <laughs> okay, well, on that um, slight worrying concern as to what good. does Josh now put on my face? And, this well, is the love part. I can't go anywhere, so no one will need to see me. Don't go anywhere. Quite a lot of Zoom meetings. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, why don't you have a go at playing, would you rather? You don't have to actually do it, just... They do! You have to 100% actually do it! Well, but you might want to be an astronaut or a pirate. You can't be either of those today. You can dress up. You can dress up, true. Yeah. Okay. Well, have fun at home, and make sure that if you do do anything a little messy, ask for a grown up permission first, and check if the paint is washable. Definitely check if the paint is washable, because we did not check that. And now, maybe there's a love heart on the head. Thanks, sir. Okay, cool. see you later. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Get it off. <laughs> My head is shaking. Ow. Tomorrow for sure. People pay good money for an exfoliation. This is better than an exfoliation. The brown came off with no problem, which is a good thing. Eventually. Yeah, well, it just looks like you've got a sore head, to be honest. A few inches later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, why do we do these things? I don't know, this is silly. Well, I mean, it's mainly off. Is it all off? No, it's not coming off anymore. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that silly game there and either joined in at home or just had a laugh with Josh and I. It's always great fun to do some games with you. Well, today's story, then we are going to meet a father and a son. And it's the story of Abraham and Isaac. And they go on a big walk up a mountain where they need to go and make a sacrifice. 
But they've got the wood, they've got the fire, and they've got the knife. But Isaac's a little bit confused. So let's head on over to YouTube and find the story called Sacrificing Isaac by Saddleback Kids. It's a really old version, so we haven't got Jesus in this one. Nobody says hello, but I'm sure you guys can add it in for me as well, okay? And come on back when you're ready. of you have seen Frozen 1? Well, I'm sure the majority of you have, and I'm sure you all know the story really well by now. Well, let's take a look at this clip and see whether it will help us understand today's story a little bit better. Did you spot it? Did you see how Anna sacrificed her own life so that Elsa could be saved? That sounds a little bit like our story with Abraham and Isaac, doesn't it? God sent a ram, a male sheep, to be sacrificed so that Isaac didn't have to be killed. Anna was willing to give her life for Elsa. Why? Why would she do that? because she loved her sister even more than she loved her own life. Who does that remind you of? Jesus. Jesus gave his life for you and for me. How amazing is that? He loved us so, so much that he was willing to die so that we would not have to die and could live forever. You see, we have all sinned, haven't we? We've all done things wrong. And because of that, we were doomed. We were going to be separated from God forever. If you were with us last week, then we did a bit of a science experiment and we had our dirty water representing sin. And we saw how Jesus's blood, the clean water, got poured into our glass so that all the dirty water filled out and we were just left with clear water in our own glass. The Bible tells us that in order for us to receive this gift called forgiveness, there has to be some shedding of blood. Jesus shed his blood when he died on the cross so that we could be forgiven and live with God for all eternity. And just like Jesus was willing to sacrifice his life for us, Anna was willing to sacrifice her life for her sister. And God wants us to be willing to sacrifice for others as well. Now, sacrifice definitely doesn't mean that we need to kill ourselves or hurt ourselves or kill or hurt anybody else. We definitely do not need to do that. But sacrifice, more importantly, means obeying God. Did you spot in our story with Abraham and Isaac what he did? He obeyed God. God was giving Abraham a test to see whether he really, really, truly did love God more than Isaac. And we can see through Abraham's actions and obedience that he really did love God. And therefore, God stepped in at just the right point to make sure that no harm came to Isaac. But a ram, the sheep, was offered instead. I wonder what God might be asking us to do. This time we are looking at characters, people in the Bible who were asked to do something by God or who were tricked by the devil, by the serpent, like in our story last week. And we're seeing whether they obey or disobey God's word and whether they have a consequence or a reward as a result of their actions. Last week we saw Adam and Eve had a great consequence, didn't they, for their actions. But today, Abraham has received a reward for his obedience, which was the ram, so that Isaac could live with him. Now, it certainly isn't right for us to die for our friends and family. And I know that God isn't asking any of us to do that today. 
But each day, then, there is a sacrifice that we can do and that God might be asking us to do. And that's the sacrifice of putting other people first. Instead of wanting to do what we want to do, we can ask them what they want to do. We can share our toys or some other things that we have. We can show them that we care for them by doing nice things for them. We can say kind words rather than hurtful words. In this way, we not only sacrifice for our friends, but we also show God that we want to obey him. We want to please him. Ultimately, we want to please God because we love him so much. And we want to live in a way that is pleasing to him. The Bible tells us that obedience is even better than sacrifice. And so when we obey, he is very pleased. And so just like Anna was willing to give her life up, and that meant her physical life, so she was frozen, wasn't she? God isn't telling us to do something as extreme as that. He might do one day, but I don't think he's telling us to do that today. But there are things that we can do to sacrifice, maybe a toy that we really enjoy playing with, or maybe spending some time with somebody. Maybe we could sacrifice those little things to help make other people feel more important and to ultimately obey God as well. Well, let's think about this a little bit more and spend some time talking to God. Maybe this week you have not been very sacrificial towards others or your friends. Why not spend a moment praying to God, asking for his help? Obedience to God really isn't something that's very easy. And even grown-ups really struggle to obey God's word. And we're going to hear all of these other stories where some people in the Bible obeyed God's word and some people really didn't. And there were consequences for that. And so why don't we spend some time now praying to God, saying, God, would you help me obey what you're asking me to do? Maybe spend time listening and thinking, what, God, what is it that you want me to do this week? Maybe if you're at home this week, it's being kind to your siblings and seeing what they want to do before you want to do it and putting them first rather than yourself. Well, let's spend some time now talking to God, maybe write down some prayers. And then why not think about what you can do to help these people? Maybe you want to play it their game rather than your game. Maybe you want to help them with some of their school before you focus on your school. Maybe there's some other things that you could do that would be really sacrificial of you and really kind of you, but would really help the other person. So let's go ahead now and ask God to really help us to obey what he wants us to do. And then write down some things that we can do, some actions that we can do that would make God really pleased with us, that would be obeying him, and that would be really sacrificial of us so that we could love other people more. So let's go ahead now, pause the video and come on back when you're ready. Obeying God is something that is really, really difficult. And we will have days where we just feel we cannot do it. And some days where it might feel a little bit easier. But with God, we can do all things. And so I hope that you've been able to ask God to really help you this week with whoever it is that you want to be extra kind to and sacrificial to. And maybe you've got a couple of ideas of how you can do that. Well, I think it is now time for another song. So let's stand up and join in.
for worshipping along with us today. Now we have got some questions for you to think about or have a little chat about in your families. So let's go ahead, pause the video and come on back when you're ready. Well, that is the end of Kids Zone for today. I do hope you have had lots of fun with us all and you have learned some new things about maybe what it means to obey God and how we can obey God each and every day. I hope you have a really great week, whether you're in school, at home, or somewhere in between. I hope you have a great time and we will see you next week at four o'clock on Zoom or YouTube. It's always the Sunday morning worship code on Zoom even though it's not Sunday morning, it's Sunday afternoon, but same Zoom code, and we will see you there. Have a great week. Bye.